Hey guys, and welcome back to the homestead. So we're going to be getting ready for some bees in about a week. And so uh, we have to make sure that we have a place for them to live once they get here and that they feel comfortable in and then they, that they can build out their new home in. So um, we ended up buying a, a bunch more frames. Um, so these are just deep, uh, deep brood frames right here. And you can buy these from Atwoods or like Orchelands or um, Tractor Supply sometimes. And uh, so what we did uh, was we got 20 of these uh, deep frames. And it comes with the foundation on here already. This is a plastic foundation that looks like a honeycomb. But then there's a little bit of wax coating on it so that the bees kind of are attracted to building out on here. The only problem with these store-bought ones and, and I'm telling you, it's the only problem because they're very well built. Um, in fact, I would recommend just buying these instead of constructing them yourself, unless you're very good at it, which I am not. Um, the only bad thing about them is that this foundation is pretty flimsy. I think they kind of cheaped out a little bit on this foundation. So what I'm doing um, is I'm just removing this foundation uh, from this frame. And I'm actually loading up these extra... Um, sort of yellow looking frames or foundations on them instead and these were just uh, accidentally shipped to me from one of my previous orders a couple years ago they they over shipped me or they, they shipped me too many of these and so I just have some laying around so I'm actually um, I'm actually just replacing them and I'm um, putting in this much more sturdy foundation and there's a little bit more wax on here as well so I think it should be a little bit better for the bees so we did end up getting uh, a new base so we have a new uh, hive base as well as a, uh, a vent and then we have a new we have a new top as well as a new queen excluder and so we're just getting ready um, for these new uh, for these new bees so we're gonna be painting uh, the base and the vent and then I'm gonna be dropping all of this stuff into the new hive um, and then replacing some old frames that were broken in the uh, in the old hive. So, um, anyways, yeah, that's that's the bees for now. So I have another project that I want to end up working on here in a couple weeks, but it's going to involve making a hydroponic uh, attachment to this uh, aquaponic system, and it's technically still an aquaponic system, but. Um, what I want to do is, is put some PVC piping on the outside and maybe kind of go laterally back and forth um, and then run water through it from the fish tank. Um, but then I would end up uh, drilling holes into the PVC pipe, which I have already bought. Um, I've kind of planned it out here. This is just a three inch PVC pipe. Uh, it's uh, 10 feet, but I'll be drilling holes in them and then putting uh, the uh, growth cups in them, the net cups in them, uh, and then growing maybe lettuce or something that does well, uh, maybe earlier in the season. So here's the basic setup uh, with the three inch PVC pipe and then the net cup. Um, I just drilled a one and a quarter inch hole there, and uh, or maybe it was two and a quarter inch hole, um, and then just put the net cup in there. So the reason I want to do this is I'm going to have a lot of fish in here that are going to be making quite a bit of nutrients for the plants. And so I do have a lot of potential to uh, really load this thing up with plants and still be okay. Right now I have probably 45 tilapia that are still fingerlings that are growing well. But once they become adults, I'm going to have way more tilapia than I think I can handle. And so I want to have enough plants that can eat up all that nutrients. So the fry nursery here with the tilapia. I have to top it off probably once a week because it does end up uh, going down in, in, in water level. If we take a look at this, uh, the water level was probably right above this spout here uh, whenever I left it over the weekend. and uh, So it looks like the temperature is a little bit above 85, maybe 86. So still, still pretty good temp. Um, I'm going to go ahead and top it off, and uh, I'll probably put it in right here, but I just put it on the shower setting, and I just let it go until it reaches right above that spout there. So while I'm out here, I'm also going to do a pH test, and then some other various chemical tests um, of the fry tilapia tank, and then also of the stock tank to kind of see where our levels are at. 
Um, I have a little freshwater master uh, test kit, which is backwards for you there in the camera, but it's just a uh, series of bottles with various chemicals in them, uh, and then uh, little uh, tubes that you put the uh, components in and, and shake them up and stuff. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick and maybe explain what each one means. So we've had these guys in here for about a week now. And so I decided to go ahead and do a water uh, kit uh, test to see what the chemical levels are at. Um, we're going to start off here with the pH level. Um, it's showing probably right around one, uh, 8.1, maybe 8.2. It is pretty purple, so it might even be a little bit more. That's considerably higher than where I want it right now. I'd, I'd prefer it to be somewhere between 7.5 and 8. Uh, the next one is going to be ammonia. Um, typically on a new uh, system, your ammonia levels are going to spike up right out of the get-go. Um, and they're going to stay high for a little bit until these two start to uh, start to kick in. Um, which, it does look like this one's very, very high. Um, in fact, probably getting to dangerous levels for some of these fish. Um, it's looking like it's probably around 4. Uh, parts per million um, The reason why that's so high right now is because the bacteria that converts ammonia Into nitrite and nitrate is not that great yet and the biofilter is pretty small um, For the amount of fish that I'm, I'm probably using and, and how fast they're growing um, another con um, uh, reason why this could be so high is is maybe the uh, food level that I'm feeding them is too much. Maybe I should uh, go down to one feeding cycle a day instead of two. So the next uh, compound here is uh, nitrite. Um, like I said, the ammonia is converted into nitrite, um, which is also to toxic to fish. Ammonia and nitrite are, are toxic, toxic to fish, but it's starting to get more into the territory of aquaponics, and, and this is more of the, the chemical that you want in your system for your plants. Um, you probably want this below 1, as well as the ammonia. You want it below 1 ppm. Um, and I would say that this one's probably around a 2. If I had to uh, call it out here, it's probably around a 2. So that one's also really high. Um, the final one here is nitrate. And this is eventually the, uh, the main ingredient that you want in your aquaponic system. The main um, um, you know, chemical you want in here. Um, <laughs> this one's pretty high, uh, which, which is a good sign, I suppose, but, uh, I'd say it's probably a little over 80, maybe, maybe right around 80 ppm. Um, so a really good level is anywhere between 5 and 150 ppm for your aquaponic system. Again, there's no plants eating this up. Um, and so it may be important to start introducing some of these fish to the larger tank, perhaps. Um, so I might, I might read up some more and consider doing that. All right, so finally got the test done for the stock tank. Now this one's a little more interesting. It looks like the pH level is a little bit higher. It might be uh, further into the eight, eight or nine range, uh, maybe more. It doesn't even go past 8.8 .8 here. Um, the ammonia level is uh, fairly low. It's maybe right above zero, um, maybe maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.2, somewhere right in there. Uh, the nitrite is similar. Uh, looks like it's just a little bit above, uh, a little bit above zero. Definitely less than one as well. Uh, still in that light purple range. Um, and then finally the uh, nitrate uh, This one is actually a little higher than I thought it would be uh, it does appear that we do have some uh, conversion um, to nitrate from ammonia um, So there's a little bit of ammonia in there and I think I think what some of this is indi Indicative of is the amount of algae that I have growing in here um, I'm not really sure what kind uh, of algae, but it definitely is uh, very green. I have uh, this growth chamber, which I'm going to end up using uh, to grow some lettuce in. These uh, net cups, and they barely have water down here. 
um, and then it just kind of runs out of the side here back into the biofilter. Um, but anyways, this, this setup does have a dedicated biofilter down here that's considerably bigger and it has some of that bio uh, biofilter media. Um, and then this kind of works as a little bit of a biofilter and then this will end up also working a bit a bit of a, of a biofilter. So I think this system is, is going to be really good for the fish once we're ready.